welcome back to Bourbon Blind, where the guys drink what y'all pick. So please feel free to email me at bourbonblindtasting at gmail.com or leave a comment in the comment section and I will try and get your bottle on as fast as possible. As always, if you are on Facebook, we are at Bourbon Blind Nation. And uh, if you like what you see tonight, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, or if you love us, go to our Patreon page, see all the good yummy stuff. Well, I guess it's not yummy, but all the good stuff that we have over there uh, and what we're giving out for uh, different uh, dollar amounts. Also, you could catch us on our live streams from time to time. We love chit-chatting with you guys. Um, really awesome nights when we hang out. And um, I think that's all I got tonight. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and grab our bottle from Zachary Nor Nordloff, I think is how you say it. And let me see if I can remember where that bottle ran off. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bourbon Blind. I'm Kyle. I'm Nick. We taste whiskey. She told you what's up. Let's get into these glasses and drink some bourbon. Bourbon are good. Smells delicious. Oh, it does smell Got a good color on it. Legs are super thick. Oh, yeah. I don't even have like one or two running so far. So yeah. I've got, I've got two strong ones formed. They haven't gone far. Nice color. I'd say a solid gold. Oh, yeah, gold, for uh, sure. Sorry, a amber, I would say even. Yeah. Darker than gold. I would... Uh, um, it's it's more rich than honey. That's like a, like a molasses type of sweetness. A little bit of wood in there. Yeah. Way deep back there, there's, I'm picking up like some light fruits, like a Granny Smith, apple, that type of. Like, like a light crisp, yeah, fruity note. Like you'd, ex like you'd expect a crunch. I like it. Like it's it's got a certain darkness about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. But also a lightness with the fruit. Right. Like. Ah, that smells oh, good. I want to get in here. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's good. Sweetness, fruity, mm -hmm. oaky, leather. A little bit of a little bit of heat on the back end. A little bit yep. of spice. The finish is good. It hangs it out. Yeah. It doesn't like, disappear. It's like a syrup in the back of my throat. Yeah. Like the, like on the like all all throughout the palate, just yeah. oil. No, everything. I was gonna say it just it coated the mouth mm -hmm. uniformly and is just staying there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's in the front, the back, the back of the throat, all the way down here. It's yeah, it's hanging out. No, like it's it's the the warmth that goes down your chest. I mean, it starts right behind your lips mm -hmm. and just goes goes all the way back. That's that's good. Wow, and that's just on a first sip. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to the improvements as we go. Right. Oh, second sip is horse piss. <laughs> God, I hope not. Mm. Just richness. Dark, caramel. Oh, yeah. Like you said, that molasses. A little bit of fruity. Uh-huh. Oily. Mm -hmm. Got a little bit of spice back there. I was, yep, just about to say that. A little bit of spice complements everything really nicely. It's super balanced. Mm -hmm. It just hangs out. Yeah. Like, it's just... I'm, it's in it to win it. It's in it for the long game. Oh, yeah. It's playing the long no, game. I'm, so, I, I held some, I guess inadvertently, behind right. my lip. And there's just some nice warmth that's happening <laughs> right there. And it's just hanging out. I would say it drinks probably close to 100 proof. Yeah. -ish. I'm going to say 100, 105. Right. Somewhere in there. Yep. Um, um, I would be blown away if this was below 95. Yeah. Yeah, it's just got tons of flavor. Yeah. Tons of flavor. So. Also, or if it's over 110, I mean. Yeah. That'd be. If it's over 110 drinking like this, that's real strong. Yeah. All right. I'd, 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 I'd throw this one back. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Oh, do we have to? Science, Kyle. <sighs> it's for you guys. We've been surprised before some good some bad right some have killed good glasses some have made bad glasses better 
I'm gonna sit that there for a second and just appreciate this. Sure. Let that mellow. Don't finish this. We gotta go back. Check it out. Oh no! Oh no! I'm not gonna finish it. I just, I'm just gonna drink it all. <laughs> potato, potato. Hmm. Just so good. Rich is. There's just a little bit of spice, like you said, throughout. Mm -hmm. Basically, like probably within a second or two of from you like, from like taking the palate sip. all the way back. Yeah. All the way back. And that, I mean, the, the nice thing is that, like, right before I took that sip, I still had some finish from the sip before. Right. So it was still going. I want to try and find, like, a, a timer on video editing mm -hmm. to put at the bottom um, as, like, a, uh, uh, like, you take a sip, start the timer, and then when the finish ends, say the finish ended... Like right. I did last week, and that way you can get, at least for me, kind of a gauge of length of finish. Right. You know what I mean? I don't know. I thought it'd be cool. Let me know in the comments if if you think that would be cool or not, and uh, I'll see if I can put that in there. So I accidentally skipped the nose after putting the water in and yeah. took a sip of it, and it was super acidic. I almost get like a weedy smell yeah. on the on the nose. like Yeah. Like a no, weeder it, kind of. Mm -hmm. Which... It could be a weed. There wasn't a whole lot of that rye, that ryeness going on. Mm. So, it could be a weeder. I could be completely wrong. It could yeah. be a ninety-five percent rye. Who knows? <laughs> could be. <laughs> yes. Yeah, second sip of, of the water. It's, it's it's hot. Not, not to the point like off-putting, but. That spiciness sticks out. It's almost it, like a. It sticks out really far and and like overpowers almost all the other flavors. Mm -hmm. But it's, I almost want to say like a peppery spice, but it's almost more of like a uh, like a chili spice. Right. You know what I mean? Like it's that kind of like Thai chili, Thai spicy, like kind like of chili powder meets black pepper. Right. Like, which I mean, I like spicy food, but I love spicy food. Spicy bourbon. Yeah. Oh, spicy dickle was, was mm, not hot, hot dickle. Hot dickle was. It would if they bad. hadn't added the sugar, it would have been fine. Right. But if you like sweet, hot dickle is the way to go. The the Tabasco in it was actually kind of cool. Yeah, uh, it I was just I expected uh, a more like spicy vinegar because that's right. really what Tabasco is. Uh, I expected more of a spicy vinegar, but it wasn't that at all. It was it was a nice warmth that complemented the heat from the bourbon or whiskey, but uh, it was good. Yeah. It was good. It's just really sweet. Um, apparently, yeah, they add they add extra sugar to it. They so. shouldn't do that. Mm -mm. George Dickel just just left it where it was. You should listen to this, right? Because we're professionals, right? We we know what we're doing. Almost, Obviously. almost as well as you guys do. <laughs> I mean, we should be major consultants for all factories and right. distilleries. No, we should be their professional taste testers. I would do that for a small amount of money. Yeah, I do it for free. Who are we kidding? <laughs> Just have you come in as as a blind taste tester. <laughs> you get me there, I'll do it for free. That's fair. <laughs> Any bourbon you want. I'll yeah. taste test it. The, the nose for this, aside from the, the weedy, is mm -hmm. almost non-existent. Yeah, just like I said, like a weedy kind of smell. And it ruined the finish. Almost like a non-sugared cereal. Like a non-sugared weeded yeah. cereal. Yeah, it ruined the finish. The finish is gone. It, it's maybe a, a quarter of the length of what it was before the... The nose really doesn't have much except for the weedy. The it's super spicy and, and acidic. You know. It, so I went back to the original. That's where it's at. It's so good. So, it's it is. If you brought me two glasses of this, one straight out of the bottle, and one with water in it, I would be hard pressed to tell you that they were the same bourbon. I would agree with that. They taste totally. Totally different. But now this almost has a little bit of that, like that spiciness, like the, that, um, like a peppery, hot, yeah. chili kind of spice. Like, I don't know if it's that 
we're still trying to wash out what's left of the the watered down version, or if right. that's just it's that's it's, where it's our minds not, are right now, and that's what's. It's not nearly as bad as it was. No, it's not. It's water. not off putting by any means. I just took a second sip, and it wasn't hardly there. So, take that for what it's worth. So I'm putting a price together in my head for this. Let me go ahead and say. Close your eyes. You ready? So. Okay. It was dark in there. <laughs> Did you start getting claustrophobic? I started getting kind of weirded out. Uh, all right. So he just told you guys what uh, he would put on it. I'm, I'm thirty-five to forty bucks for this bottle. No, That's it? no, no. I'm going forty-five to fifty. I'm forty-five to fifty for this bottle. Okay. I said that's for fair. for the watered down version, I'm ten to fifteen dollars. <laughs> so, the price I flashed to the camera was fifty to sixty. Okay. Maybe seventy. I said fifty mm. to sixty. I said fifty I, to sixty. Maybe seventy. I'm I'm 70 not. Seventy be hard press. That's like that's that's a that's, hard limit. Fifty to sixty. If if they're asking seventy for it, they better have nothing worth drinking in that store. And I better be in the middle of nowhere. I, I like it. It's good. I don't think it's seventy dollars. Good, but it's good uh, for sure. I I would have. I'm super comfortable. Forty five to fifty. I'm fine at fifty five. Fifty five I'm, sixty. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm good. stretching it at sixty, but I'd still be I'd still be. I wouldn't be disappointed at sixty bucks for this bottle. At seventy dollars, you'd start. At seventy dollars, I'd be like, ah, I don't think it's that good. You probably wouldn't buy it again at right. seventy. That's fair. So, should we see what this is? I'm going to fondle the bottle. Show the crowd, sir. All right, yeah, see will. What, let's see what's going on. It's a square bottle. Square bottle. Of course, they already know what we're drinking. So. They do. Ooh. Blade and bow. Yes. So. First time ever having blade and bow for me. Yeah. I'm not disappointed by it. Um, and it is 91 proof. I am, it's as I said, blown away. <laughs> you, um, you couldn't have convinced me without showing me the bottle that, that was under 100. This is key number two for the, not that it really matters on what's inside of the bottle. If you collect all five keys, you send them a picture of it and they send you a gift. Um, they do the use, more you know. They do use the Solera aging method. So... They'll dump a whole bottle, like a big batch, into a vat, and they'll take that vat and pour, or they'll bear, they'll bottle like half of it, and they'll take the other half that's empty and put the next batch in, and hmm. then take half of that out, put another half in. So there's always some liquid from the older stuff still in there, mingling with with the newer stuff. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm so. Not upset about that. So, what's retail on that bottle? Retail on it is about fifty bucks. I'm comfortable, right? I, I've I got. Mad at that. I've got no problem with that at fifty bucks at all. It is uh, crafted with carefully selected straight bourbon whiskeys, including the last remaining bourbon ever produced at Stitzel Weller. That's what they Interesting. say. It's pretty neat. Inspired by the historic Stitzel Weller Distillery, established 1935 in Louisville, Kentucky, renowned home of the world's finest bourbons. I'd say that's probably not inaccurate. Yeah, I love a lot of the old Stitzel Weller stuff. I don't. It's really sexy. They closed down. It's a cool looking bottle too. It is. It really is. You got like a six sided. With a, you know, neat design. It's a nice looking label. I think the aesthetics of the bottle for me, when you put to your shelf or for you, your right, you know, U-Haul truck for full of bourbon <laughs> it's together. <a> cabinet. <laughs> it's a cabinet. Uh, I think the aesthetics of the bottle really have a lot to do with how everything presents. Mm -hmm. And if if you've got a good solid bourbon, I think it should present nicely, not only in the glass but in the bottle as well. I do. I I don't disagree with you, but don't get me wrong. If, if somebody hands inside... me a plastic jug and it's good. 
I'll drink right, it. I was just say, if what's inside is good, that's what matters. If you right. can put it in a nice bottle, all the better. Right. So, anyway, until um, next week, Friday, noon central, cheers. Drink blind. Blindly drink all the time. <laughs>